Hey people, it is Sunday, February the 25th. The time is 3.29 in the afternoon and it's currently 3 degrees Celsius. Feeling much cooler with this pretty powerful wind we have going on right now. And the temperature has dropped a couple of degrees just in the last hour or so. I'm at the corner of King and Dufferin here on the west side. And I'm gonna make my way down to Liberty Street and take a walk through Liberty Village, heading east. And then I'll continue on through the Bentway. And we'll see if there's anything happening at the Bentway today. And I'm walking directly into the wind. Hopefully once we start heading east, the wind won't be trying to blow me over. So we'll check out some old former industrial buildings in Liberty Village. And lots of the new residential and commercial developments in the neighborhood as well. And I've noticed today is a very active Sunday around the city. There's lots of people out and about. The subways were jammed. Many of the more popular streets are very busy right now. Not so much on this stretch of Dufferin here. So I'm wondering if the Bentway will be busy today. I'm not even sure if the skating rink is still open at the Bentway. I guess we'll just find out when we get there. The Bentway is a, sort of a pedestrianized area running underneath the Gardner Expressway. And in the winter months, there's a skating rink that's quite popular with people and families. And here we are entering Liberty Village here at Liberty Street. This is an old industrial area that has been redeveloped into a residential community. Many of the old industrial buildings have been converted to lofts or office space. And there's also a fair bit of retail in the neighborhood and many new high-density condo towers with more on the way. I'm just going to stick to Liberty Street itself though. But some of these old buildings are very impressive with their scale. This one, probably the biggest one of them all. The Toronto, Toronto Carpet Factory. extends all the way over to King Street to the north. Many of these date from the early 1900s. Washington bus 
services the neighborhood here. Restaurants just sprinkled within these old buildings. This end of Liberty Village is where you find most of these old industrial buildings. The further east you go, the more modern things look with more of the new condo towers. You can see them up ahead. And there's been tons of new construction. As long as I've been living in Toronto, this neighborhood has been a construction site. And to the south is the Gardner Expressway and Lake Ontario. And the neighborhood, neighborhood has a reputation for being very popular with the younger set, mostly millennials and Gen Z. And I notice almost everyone has a dog every time I walk through the area. There are just countless people out walking their dogs. I don't know if we'll see that today, but that's been my experience. Nobody has kids, but they all have dogs, which are their kids. And it's also seen as a neighborhood where people just live temporarily to experience life <laughs> in the city until they want to settle down and then they leave the neighborhood and move to more family-friendly neighborhoods further out. I think this is the home to Zoomer Media, run by Moses, Z Mo Moses Zeimner. That's a hard name to say. He's the guy who founded City TV, which also spawned much music. And you can see BMO Field to the south there where the Toronto Argonauts play as well as FC Toronto. And there's a sports stadium right there that holds many events over the year. Much smaller one <laughs> than BMO Field. This building is covered in ivy in the warm months of the year.
I don't know, a lot of people deride this neighborhood, but I kind of like it, at least from a aesthetic standpoint. I like how it looks. And I don't imagine it would be a bad place to live either, even for someone who's not in their 20s or early 30s. Has mostly everything you need. It's walkable. The King Streetcar line is just steps away. And there's also future GO train station that will be located nearby. Liberty Market is over here. It's a retail concourse. Maybe I'll take a walk through. The Exhibition Streetcar Stop is also close by, just to the south near BMO Field. It's a place to get out of the rain if it's raining. And you have some things to buy or you want to come and get a bite to eat. I think this is pretty neat. I didn't even know this was here for years. I was stuck to walking along Liberty Street and just never ventured over this way to even discover it. And it sort of blew my mind a bit when I, <laughs> when I saw this was here. Liberty Market building, see all the retailers. And there's a large metro grocery store nearby also. I think the site of the grocery store, though, is slated to be redeveloped with some more high-density towers. With another grocery store eventually replacing. And back onto Liberty Street.
Raisin Head Irish Pub. ball and cocktails. So now we come into the area that is mostly recent builds with all these residential towers. the Gardner Expressway just to the south. When you're traveling along the expressway, these buildings sort of loom over the expressway. And here are some of the dogs I was talking about. <laughs> This is an old 19th century jail that is currently getting the renovation treatment. This is a rather dilapidated old brick building. So it'll be nice to see what emerges after the tarps come down. And up ahead is Strawn Avenue. I just found it curious that this is one of the only streets in Toronto that's divided 
into an east and west portion where they put the word east ahead of the street name. Most other streets would be referred to as King Street East, Queen Street East, Dundas Street East, but here it's East Liberty. Just a small thing, I was just thought that's interesting. And a new tower on the rise. Strawn. So this is where I'm going to start to head a bit to the south, make our way to the Bentway. Very busy Sunday. Passing over the rail corridor, I can see a GO train stopped at Exhibition GO Station to the west. And some views of the part of the skyline here. The train is going in the other direction though, it's not coming towards us. I wonder why they blocked off this staircase here. Under the gardener. And 
Welcome to the Bentway. I can't tell yet if the skating rink is open. Let's go right down to the lowest section here. This is still a work in progress. I did come through here during a live stream not all too long ago when there were lots of people skating. It was quite lively. Too active down here right now. Looks like the rink is closed. Did all the ice melt? <laughs> yep, yeah, looks like there's no ice to be found. Well, that's disappointing. It's still winter, you'd think they'd be able to maintain the ice, even though we've had mild spells. It's still quite chilly more often than not. Like even though it's above zero now it feels below freezing with this wind.
This is the Fort York neighborhood we're walking past now. Another high density condo neighborhood. It lacks all the retail and commercial and old industrial buildings of Liberty Village though. Why would you have a high performance supercar like that and have it backfire? That's Fort York over there. Military installation dating from the late 1700s that sprung up around the same time as the original town site of the town of York, which preceded the city of Toronto. It's a tourist attraction now. This old period barracks and I think they have some demonstrations of what sort of activities went on at Fort York with mock soldiers in old period military uniforms and that sort of thing. Maybe I'll get a shot looking down into Fort York once we get a bit closer to the bridge up ahead here, the Bathurst Street Bridge. I think there's a view from there. Beyond Bathurst Street is the City Place neighborhood, which is another high density condo neighborhood. Fort York, 1793. Eight inch shell gun. You can see some of the barracks. Let's head on to the Bathurst Street Bridge.
walking towards the heart of the financial district. Fort York, once upon a time defending the old town of York from American invaders. So I'm going to start to wrap up this walk here on the Bathurst Street Bridge. We made our way from King and Dufferin, took a walk through Liberty Village, and through the Bentway, which unfortunately didn't have much going on. The skating trail is non-existent <laughs> as of right now. Ending off here at Old Fort York. So, hope you enjoyed the walk. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so via the links in the description to my PayPal or to my merch store. Or you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or by sending a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram under KContinuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back, because as always, hit the button. There we go. <laughs> I will continue.